The use of performance-enhancing substances is not condoned in this video. Moreover, the information offered here is primarily provided for educational purposes only. Hello there, folks. It's me, your brother here. I'm here to talk to you about AIs, also known as anti-estrogen in bodybuilding. Anti-estrogens are reversible aromatose inhibitors that are noted as the most potent non-steroidal AI. Letrozole, aromacin, also known as eczemestane, and arimidex are three of the most commonly used aromatose inhibitors by steroid users to control side effects related to estrogen as a result of using aromatizing steroids. Like most of the AIs we look at for using alongside anabolic steroids, these were developed for the medical treatment of breast cancer in postmenopausal women. For bodybuilders, these drugs will help to strip out the unwanted estrogenic effects and provide a much leaner and more ripped appearance. Estrogen can sometimes cause water retention and a much softer, puffier appearance. Anti-estrogen can get rid of any excess water, creating a much leaner, hardcore look to the muscles. Anti-estrogen drugs are very powerful and although they can be invaluable in reducing the androgenic effects of anabolic steroids, they can carry some unpleasant side effects of their own. In general, their side effects can include weakness and fatigue, but if the individual is taking anabolic steroids, this is unlikely to be the case. The other symptoms you might experience include hot flashes, headaches, pain in the joints, raised blood pressure, and depression. Bone mineral density can also be reduced by the drugs, but once again, this effect should be counteracted by the increase in bone density, which is often the result of anabolic steroid use. If you want to buy anti-estrogen, you should be aware of the dosage information because it has an effect. The typical dosage range for letrozole starts at 0.25 mg and increases up to 1 mg, taken every other day. The tablets normally come in a standard dose of 2.5 mg, but this will almost certainly be too strong for regular use. The only potential exception is for treating gynecomastia, where 7 to 14 days at 2.5 mg may just blast away any early signs. Arimidex is typically introduced in week 2 of the cycle and taken for the entire length of the cycle at 0.5 mg twice a week. Meanwhile, the range of aromacin doses are 12.5 to 1 mg daily. In the order of strength from weakest to strongest, it would be arimidex, aromacin, and letrozole. Arimidex is usually used for preventative measures, while aromacin and letrozoles are used when you are trying to correct a previous error, such as finding yourself having developed gyno already. It's not wise to use a strong AI to begin with, since without estrogen, you will feel depressed and you won't be able to grow. It is better to use Arimidex as a preventative measure so you don't have to go down the road using strong AIs like letrozole or aromacin. Now let's move on to the stacking. Anti-estrogens aren't drugs which are generally used on their own because their ability to increase testosterone production is modest. Instead, a stack typically includes at least one, if not more, anabolic steroids, which could have an estrogenic effect. Not all anabolic steroids produce the same results and some interact directly with the aromatase enzyme. In these circumstances, they can be very useful to take as a precautionary measure to stop unwanted effects from developing. Anti-estrogen drugs help promote natural production of testosterone, so when taken on its own, there's no negative effect on the body's own testosterone. The problem arises because they are typically taken alongside another drug which will surpass the production of testosterone. Therefore, while PCT isn't necessary to counteract the effects of those drugs by themselves, PCT will be required in order to support the return of the natural production of testosterone because of the effects of the other drugs taken. These drugs can help to stimulate the body to produce testosterone, but it's not sufficient to take in isolation as PCT. This is because of the supporting action on the estrogen levels in the body. PCT is supposed to bring the body back to natural levels of hormones, so suppressing estrogen will impair this end goal. That's all there is to it, you guys. Before deciding to use anabolic steroids, talk to your doctor. Until then, take care.